Let's bring out our three finalists. Tattoo Baby. I got one of the canvases that I actually recognized. Does it look like a frog? I'm very critical of Yoda. Your sketch was dead on, which was awesome. <laughs> so let's see what the tattoo baby's doing. Oh, cool. Yoda. I think that she actually got one of the easiest tattoos, but I don't know if she has what it takes to win the Star Wars challenge. This challenge is awesome. Love Star Wars. Tattoo baby. Are you happy that you got this particular canvas? I haven't seen the movie, but one of the characters that I was most familiar was this one. I was like, I hope I get the little green guy. <laughs> I felt like I had a lot of pressure. I'm doing something that I know nothing about, dealing with somebody who's an expert in it, and I just have to make sure that I give her a great tattoo. The contrast you put in this thing with the green and the purple, just that tiny little accent of purple under the collar, great way to bounce the color palette off of each other. I feel like you knocked off a lot of the big guys that underestimated you, and this is a big move for you. So keep the momentum. Oh, that's so unpleasant. I feel like a little bit nauseous right now. I'm concerned. Is it the pain, you know? You want me to just give you like a little break? I can just stretch out a minute. Damn, we just freaking started. How are you feeling right now? I'm like really dizzy right now. My canvas, she's just not feeling well. Take a deep breath. I'm praying to everything for her to feel better. I really want to finish this tattoo. <sighs> Try and relax. I'm just nauseous and I'm dizzy. Like, I don't feel good right now at all. <sighs> Two more hours remaining, everybody. <sighs> you think you're going to throw up? Why is this happening to me right now? Oh, God. <sighs> Somebody pooped. This is the worst thing you can have happen. She's a good tattoo artist. She could be going home just because the canvas can't sit. She's in trouble. Oh, my God. It really, really sucks. If my canvas doesn't let me finish this tattoo, I'm going home. Tattoo, baby. How are you, doll? Still kind of stressed. I didn't get to finish the tattoo. I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do. You had so much opposition from your client being sick. You pulled off all kinds of cool tricks in here. They definitely didn't want to give you a boring tattoo. The white highlights were key for you. The green eyes are beautiful. I cannot believe this is the same person that did the first tattoo <laughs> week one. Holy <laughs> you have turned it around immensely. Really? I'm happy to see that you did this quality job. It's really nice. <laughs> Do not sound too much like a big tattoo nerd. My favorite thing about this photo is all these details in the wrinkles and the teeth and the white highlights. Perfect. This is me perfect. The detail and resolution on this picture is so good that I know I can knock this out. Uh, no turning back. I told Joshua that I was better than him. This is my chance to really prove it. Tattoo baby. How did you feel when you found out that the challenge was portraits? Portraits is something that I do a lot at home. I've had chances where I've shown stuff that I like to do and I haven't, like, nailed it. So I really wanted to redeem myself. As far as the accuracy on the tattoo, it totally looks like the guy. The only criticism I have is the right eye. A little bit darker in the photo, but you put that highlight in there and that's your own artistic license that makes the tattoo even look better. Just those little things that you can do as a tattooist to add to something that's a photo, it makes it more dynamic. In the collar of the shirt itself, the whole real photo is dark and you put the little highlights in to really capture the essence. The extra added touches that you gave to this tattoo really brought your tattoo to life and this is the reason that it was hard to see you go, oh, well, I want to get out of here. This is what people are going to remember. If you go out on your shield, at least you went out like this. All right. Thank you. My canvas really wants those hands in the portrait and he wants the logos. So I tell him I would do it smaller so I can get the symbols that he wanted. I'm going to show precision from copying exactly what's on this picture. May the best portrait artist win. And there he is. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. You have his back forever. That's right. I got your back forever. Oh, man. Uh -huh. Tattoo baby, you're up first. How are you feeling about your work here? Do you feel like you're in the top? I feel I did a great tattoo for the reference that I had. Doing small faces like that are always 
tricky. It's really hard to capture a likeness the smaller the face is. This tattoo came out great. The way that you captured the skin tone of his dad, you used a lot of light in the face to really accent his features. This was the right way to do it. Another consistent outing for you. It's a good job, and it was a tough one. There is $100,000 on the line, and I'm going to take it. This is what I got. I love photorealism. I love to tattoo animals. I cannot wait to get started. It's really not that tasteful. Do I really want some random girl on my back for the rest of my life? Here we go. Man, my dad's going to kill me if he sees this. Hopefully, he doesn't have a heart attack. I'm really not cool with this. I'm gonna grow up, I'm gonna be a father one day, and here I have some random girl on my back that has no relation to me or my family. First session is done. It is a lot of money on the line for her, but it's not any money on the line for me. I absolutely know that I am not coming back for the next session, and best of luck to her. Hey, Dave, how are you? There's been a situation. Unfortunately, your master canvas is not coming back. So, we are gonna send you a new master canvas, but you're gonna have to start from scratch. All right, sweetheart, good luck to you. I am completely in shock right now. I really did not expect him to pull out. I hope that it's not gonna affect my chance to win. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to reveal and critique the finalist tattoos. Tattoo Baby, you're up first. This design was designed for my first canvas. Um, unfortunately, he did um, drop out and didn't want to continue the tattoo. And then I met um, lovely Stan. But unfortunately, Stan had this huge scar from here to here, which is also why you know, you'll see a little bit of the denting on the tattoo, and he had another tattoo. So I was working a little bit already against placement. You've made it probably farther than anybody. You've taken the ball and you've run with it, and you have fan favorites. And, you know, I think that the presence that you've created for yourself through good and bad times will by far exceed, because you're humble, because of the humility, you will pass anything and there's tons of people that would be proud to work with you and proud to have you because you have a great attitude and you do great tattoos. 